What's good, everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you all how to properly add and subtract fractions that have variables and exponents. Let's get started for today. Starting off this video, we're going to be looking at two problems. But before we get there, let's review the basics. So remember that when we are multiplying fractions, right, we just multiply straight across, meaning we do not have to have the same denominator. We don't have to check it or anything like that, right? That's multiplication. Then when we get to division, we notice that what? The entire problem kind of stays the same, apart from the fact that we change it to a multiplication problem, and then we flip the other fraction. And at this step, if you want to cross cancel, right? We can cross cancel to simplify, and then we'll finish this problem off by just multiplying straight across. But then when we get to addition and subtraction, this is the only time where the denominator actually matters. Meaning, for me to add these two fractions, I would have to multiply 3a by 3 and 5a by 3 so that my denominators could be the same. And once I do that, I'd have 15a over 9a plus 10a over 9a. Then I could add and simplify where possible. Now that we understand that concept, I promise the lesson's going to be so much more easier. Moving into problem number one now, right? We reviewed the rules. What do we need to do when we look at this problem? Number one, the denominator is not the same. For me to get 3 to 6, I have to multiply by 2. And just remember, with fractions, if we're multiplying the bottom or the top, we have to make sure we multiply both of them by the same number. So what happens is, let's put parentheses around this, right? Because we're going to distribute. Don't forget that. So we have 2 times y minus 2 all over 3 times 2, right? Let's just simplify that first. So we get oops, 2y minus 4 all over 6. And now we're going to add y plus 1 all over 6. Now, between me and you guys, right, we can make this one entire fraction after it has the same denominator. Or you, you could keep it separate. Just a rule of thumb, right? And now the denominator stays the same. We don't add it. It stays the same. So 6 is on the bottom. We combine like terms, right? 3y, negative 4 plus 1 gives me negative 3. And you should always, always double check to see if you can simplify. What does Peters mean? We could divide this entire fraction by 2, right? I mean, I'm sorry, not 2, by 3. If I divide the entire fraction by 3, I get y minus 1 all over 2. And this is my final answer. Right, but understand, guys, this is the same exact answer. One is just simplified. You know how it's math teachers are, right? We be cutting this in competition. Just make sure you simplify, okay? But now let's go into problem number two, where we're gonna see exponents in the actual problem as well. How do we solve this? In problem two, now we're we're, we're gonna see exponents, at least one exponent, right? And every time you see an exponent, when we're talking about rational expressions. Expressions are fractions where there's variables and exponents, right? When we see an exponent like this, it should let us know that we have to simplify by factoring. So we're going to focus here first. 5 stays the same. We have x minus 3 times x plus 2. This is what this trinomial breaks down to. And we're going to add 1 over x plus 2. But if you notice, we don't have the same denominator, right? What is it denom that this denominator missing? X plus 3. So now let's say we have the same denominator, right? We wrote it down. What do we need to make sure that we do? We have to make sure that we multiply not only the bottom by X plus 3, but the top, right? So now we have X plus 3 up here, right? On the bottom, it's, it's just going to stay the same. We're not actually going to multiply it, okay? So now... We know 1 times x plus 3 is just x plus 3. And now that we have the same denominator, I'm just going to turn it into one fraction, right? So x minus 3 times x plus 2. 5 plus, let's see, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did I write this problem down right? 
Oh, that's what it was. It's X minus. I know, I know I made a mistake. Like, you gotta catch yourself. All right. So this is why you gotta double check yourself. All right. So now I'm focused on the top. Five minus three gives me two. X stays the same. I have X plus two. Now remember in the previous problem, right? Every time there's a fraction here at the end, check to see if you could simplify it. X plus two cancels out with X plus two. Don't forget, although there's nothing in the top, it's still a fraction, meaning we have one in the top if we don't see anything else. On the bottom, we only have X minus three, and this should be our final answer. So if you're struggling or you get confused with rational expressions, guys, just make sure that you touch back up on your fraction rules because they're the same exact rules. Really hope this video was helpful for you all. Smash the like button for us. Subscribe to the channel and leave comments for future videos you guys would like to see on our channel. Or if you had questions from today's video, thank you guys again.